The Severan dynasty, spanning from 193 to 235 CE, marks a significant and tumultuous period in the history of the Roman Empire. It began with the rise of Septimius Severus, who emerged victorious from the civil wars that followed the assassination of the hated Emperor Commodus, ending the rule of the Nerva Antonine dynasty. From the arid landscapes of Syria and Libya respectively, Julia Domna and Septimius Severus ascended to the throne of one of the greatest civilizations in history. Julia Domna, the intelligent, politically astute wife of Septimius Severus, the ambitious and military-minded emperor, both reigned during an era known as the Severan Dynasty, around the late 2nd century and early 3rd century AD. Their rule was marked by a fascinating blend of political intrigue, military might, and cultural advancements. The Roman Empire during this period was a complex web of power dynamics, with the emperor and empress at the center, pulling the strings. The influence of Julia Domna and Septimius Severus still reverberates through the annals of history. In the next few minutes, we will delve into the rise and fall of these iconic figures and the lasting impact they had on the Roman Empire. The journey to power for both Julia Domna and Emperor Septimius Severus was not a straightforward one. Julia Domna was born in Emesa, modern-day Syria, into a family of high priest kings. Her upbringing was steeped in power and privilege, her intellect and beauty were celebrated, and her destiny was shaped by the stars. A prophecy foretold that she would marry a king, and so she did, but not just any king, a Roman emperor. Septimius Severus, on the other hand, was born in Leptis Magna, present-day Libya. His path to the throne was paved with ambition, political savvy, and a fierce determination. Rising through the ranks of the Roman military, Severus swiftly climbed the political ladder, his sights set on the highest role, the emperorship. Their lives intertwined when Severus, smitten by the prophecy and Julia's charm, asked for her hand in marriage. Julia, drawn by his ambition and the promise of fulfilling her destiny, accepted. Their union marked the beginning of a partnership that would soon rule Rome. Severus's rise to power culminated in 193 AD. The Roman Empire was in chaos following the assassination of Emperor Commodus. The throne was up for grabs and Severus seized the opportunity. Through a swift and decisive military campaign, he ousted his rivals and claimed the throne. But behind this ambitious man was an equally formidable woman. Julia Domna was not a silent partner in this power duo. She was a woman of immense intellect, a patron of the arts and philosophy, and a political advisor to her husband. She was the power behind the throne, wielding her influence subtly yet effectively. Her role as empress was not merely ceremonial. She was a respected and influential figure, both in the court and among the people. She was a beacon of stability amidst the political turmoil, her influence reaching far beyond the palace walls. With Severus as emperor and Julia by his side, they were poised to make a significant impact on the Roman Empire. Once in power, Julia Domna and Emperor Septimius Severus reshaped Rome with their distinct leadership. Their reign was marked by significant accomplishments that left a profound impact on the Roman Empire. One of their most notable achievements was the implementation of legal reforms. These reforms, championed by Severus, aimed to promote justice and fairness providing a solid foundation for the Roman legal system we know today. Severus also undertook a series of military campaigns to fortify the empire's borders, demonstrating his strategic prowess and military acumen. But it wasn't just the emperor making waves. Julia Domna, in her own right, was a force to be reckoned with. Known for her intellect, she played a pivotal role in cultural advancements during their reign. She championed education, philosophy and the arts transforming Rome into a beacon of culture and intellectualism. Her patronage led to the construction of libraries and the promotion of scholarly pursuits. Julia's influence reached beyond the palace walls, as she was deeply respected and admired by the Roman society. In fact, Julia's influence was such that she was often consulted on matters of state, an unusual role for a woman in that era. Her wisdom and insight were highly valued, and she played a crucial part in shaping the policies and decisions made during their reign. Their rule also saw the construction of magnificent architectural marvels, a testament to their vision of a grand and glorious Rome. They built roads, aqueducts and public buildings, enhancing the city's infrastructure and aesthetics. 
This period of architectural boom contributed to Rome's reputation as one of the most magnificent cities of the ancient world. But like any period of power and prosperity, the reign of Julia Domna and Emperor Septimius Severus was not without its challenges. Despite these, their accomplishments have left an indelible mark on the annals of Roman history, shaping the empire into the power it became. Just as their rise to power was marked by intrigue and ambition, so too was their fall. The year 211 AD marked a significant turning point in the reign of Emperor Septimius Severus and Julia Domna. After a decade of ruling Rome with a firm hand, Severus's health began to deteriorate rapidly. The emperor, always a man of action, embarked on a campaign in Britain, a task that further drained his strength. Finally, in the cold month of February, he breathed his last in the city of Eberacum, leaving behind a vast empire and a power vacuum that would soon turn bloody. With Severus's death, the reins of power were passed to his sons, Caracalla and Geta, under the watchful eyes of their mother, Julia. However, the two brothers shared a bitter rivalry that was only augmented by their newfound authority. Julia, in her wisdom, tried to mediate the conflict, but the animosity was too deep-seated. It wasn't long before Caracalla, in a fit of rage and jealousy, murdered his brother, leaving Julia in a precarious position. With Geta's death, Julia became the sole pillar of support for Caracalla, who had now ascended to the throne. She continued to exercise her influence, advising her son and maintaining a semblance of stability in the empire. However, as the years passed, her power began to wane. Caracalla's rule was marked by tyranny and paranoia, and the once vibrant court of Rome turned into a place of fear and suspicion. The final blow came in the year 217 AD. Caracalla was assassinated, and Julia, bereft of any support, was left at the mercy of the new emperor Macrinus. Unable to bear the loss of her family and her position, Julia chose to end her life, thus closing a remarkable chapter in the annals of Roman history. The story of Julia Domna and Emperor Septimius Severus serves as a powerful reminder of the fleeting nature of power and the indelible mark that individuals can leave on history.